people have sometimes say that Singapore got homeless people may. But there are, there are. I mean, because of a variety of reasons, I think the more important thing to understand, right, is, you know, uh, why do people become homeless? For example, family issue, they cannot get along with their family, or maybe drug addiction or gambling, you sell your flat and after that have nowhere to stay. I remember one uncle, he would always uh, hang out, you know, at the central area of Singapore. He was working as a cleaner. And then I asked him, uncle, do you have a place to stay? And he said, oh yeah, in the Jurong area. Then I asked him, why don't you go back home, uncle? And then he said, I mean, MRT, to and fro, $3. $3, I can buy a plate of chicken rice, I can buy lunch. I think there's a saying, right? People don't become homeless because they run out of resources. They become homeless because they run out of relationship. For example, one guy, right? He doesn't have much education, but he told me that the father divorced, after that married, and then after that, his stepmother don't want him to stay with them, so he was homeless as a result. Another group that we also need to consider is basically homeless youth, homeless young people. A lot of the shelter, they tend to cater for people 35 and above. So let's say you are 21 years old and you have no place to stay. What are you, what are you going to do? You don't qualify, you know, you can work, you are so-called healthy enough. And I mean, and you kind of like in limbo. If you want to be able to work, sometimes you need a place, an address to be able to give your details to. And then, you know, um, yeah, I heard that there's some people who find out, oh, you don't have a place to stay. I'm sorry, then how to employ you? So it's kind of a uh, catch-22. I say that not only a policy problem, it's a community problem. We, a lot of time, we like, hey, what is the government doing? Think about it. What are we doing? What can we do at community level to accompany the homeless to, to help them through a policy system? The reality is that no policy system can be perfect. There will always be gap in between. But what can community do? Community come in, help to bridge the gap. What we do, right? Very simple thing. We just have dinner together with them. And you know, sometimes fun time when you do, right? You just go and play uh, card games. I tell you, it can be super funny, you know, play card game at 2 a.m. I think one of the most important things is that we, we don't try to solve the problem straight away. We just be there, be friend, listen. If they want your help, they will ask you. In fact, they themselves have told us that we thank you so much because when you come to us, you don't go and treat us like charity cases. 